Welcome to Advent Devotions from St. Philip the Deacon. We are in day two, and the reading is called, A Town in Galilee Called Nazareth. We begin with a reading from Luke. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary the word of the Lord. Hamilton writes, It was the other side of the tracks if there had been tracks in first century Palestine. Nazareth was only four miles from the thriving city of Sephoris with its luxury villas, markets, temples, and Roman theater. You can still walk among the amazing ruins at Sephoris to this day. You can see it from Nazareth and by car, it's only a 10 minute drive. But in Mary's day, it was an hour's walk to Sepphoris from Nazareth. Sephoris was where the haves lived. Nazareth was for the have nots. Nazareth doesn't even show up on first century lists of villages in Galilee. It was considered by the Jewish population of the region as insignificant or worse. In John 1, Nathanael asked, when told that Jesus was from Nazareth, can anything good come out of Nazareth? A woman who grew up in poverty once described for me the formative years of her childhood. She lived in a trailer park at the lower end of the socioeconomic scale. Children teased her at school, calling her trailer trash, a name they had learned from their parents. Forty years and a law degree later, she was describing how it felt as a child to be made to feel small and insignificant. When I think of Nazareth, I think of her story. If the tradition is correct, Mary's family lived in the cheapest form of affordable housing at that time, a cave. Mary's village was considered of no account. But it was precisely here that God came looking for a young woman to bear God's son. God routinely chooses the humble and the least expected in and through whom he might do his greatest work. Mary recognized this in Luke 1 when she praised God because he looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant while he scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. Many of us live in Sephoris, but God's choice of a woman from Nazareth to bear the Christ leads us to see the importance God places on humility, calls us to repent of any ways in which we, like Nathaniel, have said, can anything good come out of Nazareth, and even invites us to reconsider how we celebrate the birth of Jesus. As you are preparing for Christmas, here's a suggestion. What if this year you recalibrated? What if this year you decided to give away a bit more to people in need and spend a bit less on yourself and your immediate family? Hamilton says, our family made a commitment several years ago to donate to organizations serving the poor and those in need an amount equal to the total of what we spend on our family and friends at Christmas. This decision forces us to reduce what we spend on people who don't really need anything so that we can give to those who truly stand in need. In the process, we've found greater joy in our Christmas celebration. Let us pray. Lord, forgive me for any time I've ever made others feel small. Forgive me for thinking more highly of myself than I ought. And help me, in the words of Paul, to consider others better than myself. Help me this Christmas to look for ways of increasing what I give to those in need.